Well, hello, and welcome back to the tower. So I did have a question about what I'm farming. I'm currently farming tier 10. Um, obviously, this is a pre-tournament video. I need to get up to this, so we need to start pretty soon. we got five hours. And as far as the event is coming along, it's coming along. We'll deal with this a little bit more. This is the one I'm stuck on, but at least got to 40. Surprised this is so low, but we'll probably get that eventually. That said, this is the name of the game. And, oh, I actually probably didn't need to do this because I'm only going to be able to get 10 there. But, hey, 10 is better than nothing. We are now slowly working our way towards 5,700. Hallelujah. Um, nah, I don't feel like increments less than 10 are really going to change anything. But, hey, everything counts, right? From a research standpoint, yep, we're researching. Not too much there. We did complete inner mine um, blast radius. So we're back on rotation speed. So that's nice. Um, but the more important thing is this. Oh, I forgot to merge these. It doesn't matter. We need to do drawing first. So let's do the drawing first. And nothing. And what's this? Another AD. Hmm. I think that's our second AD, I want to say. Oops. Now, one mistake I did make last time. I need to make sure I always have 10 gems left, so we'll be fine. But what do you mean I can't do it? Okay. So that was something. So 19 new modules, we're going to go ahead and flip it to um, rare first. Oops, merge. Oh, I have to do this. Okay, there we go. And I have to do this. Wow, that's a lot of those. We have a bunch of matrixes. Okay, get rid of them. Galactic Library. I mean, this is so much easier than trying to figure it out. Okay, don't have enough of those. We have gonna have a bunch of these. And get rid of that. Hey, we got enough of those. That's nice. Oh, more than enough of those. That's nice. And those. Uh, allegedly, we're going to eventually have auto rare merge, which will be nice. Because there's no skill. Like, obviously this was, is like, if you're just starting out, you wouldn't necessarily want to have it on. Because any, like a, like a rare is better than not having a rare, but you're not going to be doing it for long. So hopefully we get the auto rare merge sooner rather than later. So then everything becomes a minimum of a rare plus. Okay, that's done. Okay. Oh wow, a bunch of these. Yeah, and I mean, at least being able to filter makes this more bearable. But auto merge is basically a mandatory thing at this point that I want. Yes, mandatory. I am mandating it. Okay, so now we have sl still have a hundred out of three hundred G's. Okay, so once again. So I did listen to your advice. You suggested that I get this. So here it is. I, I was spending so many rerolls. Where are my rerolls? Oh, I can level this again. I was spending so many rerolls. Oh, do I have to go here? And I mean, I have 62. I, I gave up on trying to get. I probably should keep rolling until I get the health skip to 4% too. But it was taking a lot of rolls. Like, honestly, one of my complaints about the reroll system. Oh, God, I almost hit it is that I would like to pay more for a better chance of getting legendary. You know what I mean? Like, if I have a legendary mod here, let me spend, I don't know, 10 times as much to have just, just, I don't care about common anymore. I don't care about rare. Honestly, I would be happy 
if it just if there was just like a re-roll until a legendary popped, I would like it. Anything to make it so because the problem is with this re-roll, I roll and roll and roll and roll and roll, and you get so much stuff that's just garbage, it just makes it a waste of time. It just wastes your time, and I don't like things that waste my time. Which is why I ended up just stopping at epic 2%. I mean, it's obviously, I need to get that to legendary, but eh. I did level it up to 55. So, um, we're going to be looking at the, uh, is this going to be the cannon? I did, didn't I? I have two astro deliverances. And I have the Havoc Bringer. You know, shoot. I probably should have switched to this. Or this. Um, because, okay. So now we need another epic astral deliverance. Okay. Um, shoot. Well, let's see if we get lucky. Oh, I need to level it, so hold on. Restore. Confirm. Yep. Okay, let's put it away. Max. Confirm. Rend armor chance. I don't know if I should keep that or not, but... Eight X critical factor. See what I mean? Like when you start, and I can't even imagine what this light is like with um. As you get further and further. Uh, I guess we'll grab these. What do I have in the other one? Um, you. Attack speed, crit factor, or bounce shot targets. Yeah, it's fine. We'll go ahead and equip this. Don't know that I was really looking for this one, but the getting the extra attack speed, I can't sleep on that, basically. This one actually rerolled really quick. Granted, I wasn't looking for a specific one here, just taking the rend armor. To me, that's fine. I probably should get something else here, so just let me know in the comments, but I wanted to just get something real quick. So that's interesting. This is the bounce shot bonus projectile damage. Um, extra bounce shot ring. So AD is not bad. We'll see how it plays out. I think that might be better for me than... Well, I think it's just it being legendary is going to be better than my epic death penalty. Now, if I get now if I get death penalty to legendary, then maybe we can have a discussion on which is really better. This is good enough for me. And again, if for the thirds, I know there's four ones you really want on attack, and I know it's not rend armor multiplier. So just let me know in the comments what the third one should be. I'm happy with these two. The really the only reason I did this is I wanted the extra attack speed. Okay. Let's just make sure everybody else. Space displacer. I really can't wait until this guy. I, I and same thing with, same thing with this one. My own chip. I really can't wait until these two get leveled up. But there we go. We're using this. I probably should reroll this for the health skip. We'll get there eventually. Okay, so we're good to go on there. We spent this. And that's basically everything for now. I just want to do a real quick one, getting ready for the tournament, obviously. I'm now going to do the tournament. And, of course, when you get back to the tournament, when, when when this video resumes, well, I mean, it's not going to pause for you, but, but in the future video, future me will be sharing the results of the tournament with you and we'll look at the event and a few other things. So, see you in a moment. And we are back from the tournament. It's actually a little after the tournament because we're almost starting the next tournament but 
Yes, we finished at first place with 1681. I was able to do the tournament until I basically lost, so still clocking in at 1600 waves. A far cry from the 2400 waves I used to clock in. Uh, except this time. Oh, that must have been armored. I bet that was armored. But we did get 227 stones, so that's a good start. And we are winding down the uh, the event here. I did at least collect both of these. Don't know if I'll get uh, all these done. We got the my least favorite one. I was able to at least get it to 40 on tier 13 with no cards. But yes, that was terrible. And I still haven't deftified five times. I don't know what's up with that. Hopefully we'll be able to complete that in the next three days. But outside of that, it's mostly another successful tournament. Tournament event. Obviously at 675, we will not be able to get the last rank of Golden Bot. But that's okay. Next tournament, next tournament, depending on what uh, themes there are. We probably will be a slam dunk for getting the last rank of Golden Bot. And then we will move on to getting Amplify Bot. And then obviously once we have Golden Bot and we have Amplify Bot done, then we will then we will might start spending some on the ultimate weapon stones, which maybe I should have been doing all along. I don't know. We'll see. I wanted to finish these. I will just be glad to have a max golden bot. And yes, I did switch to the pulsar harvester. That's why it's 58 meters. So that's something, I guess. Moving on, we do have 2.81 trillion, which I think is enough. Yep. Just enough to get another 10. Again, we're getting this to 5,700, and as soon as that is done, uh, for the for now, we are basically going to say we have concluded upgrading damage as much as possible, and we will be switching back over here to work on skips. Um, but then, of course, there's the real thing we're looking for. But first, let me grab this, because I complete this mission. And let's go here to modules, and let's go here, max this guy out. Max, oh, can't add anything there. Max this out. And max this out. Unfortunately, I don't have too many more gems, but uh, we'll make the best of it. We get two draws in. And that's a nothing. All commons, that's a, that's a winner right there. And another common. And that is all of the drawing we can do. We walked away with uh, four epic modules. Uh, we'll go ahead. I did actually merge everything before this. I mean, I started recording this video, but let's see. Oh, I, hate, I just like this. Okay, now we can see. Did we even? Yes, we did. We will be able to, whoops, merge the photon counter. How about that? All that drawing just to merge the photon counter. Congratulations to me. And, uh, wow, that's rather anticlimactic, like the general way the system is. Uh, moving on, um, obviously research is researching. We did get to critical factor 87, so hopefully we'll be finishing that up soon. Yeah, no, we won't. We won't. That's 10 days. Uh, everything just, we don't use gems here anymore, so everything just takes forever. Oh, well. We, we have completed uh, all the inner landmine upgrades. I'm actually going to be in a, oh, somebody asked me about my range. My range is set to zero. I've researched seven. I set it to zero. There's no multiplier in range. So I, I, I got a comment about that, and I was confused. But uh, yes, at one point I did research range, but then I was told not to research range. And then they gave us a slider for range, so I turned my range to zero. Uh, but that said, again, we'll be getting to damage 82, maybe by next video. Maybe get some more super crit. That'll be nice, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Uh, oh, but, but, sorry, I got distracted. My real question here is going to be, obviously, will be, look at, look at all the nice gold. See how nice gold looks? Because it means it's done. Is when we get to these, like, you know, I don't really like doing researches that are less than a day because I'm me. Uh, it might not, it, I mean, it kind of depends on how these, like, like, if this is something, like, I can start at the end of the day and then wake up in the morning and deal with, you know, just researching the end of it, that's just speeding up the end of it. But I really don't like researchers that are less than a day, so when we get to working on shock chance 
and shock chance multiplier. That's going to be kind of interesting. Um, I'm not too sure when I'm going to do that right now, but I'll figure it out when I get there. Obviously, I have four days, five hours, one minute, and 57 seconds to decide. I honestly, for some reason, was going to be delusional and think that we were actually going to get something interesting uh, to do on this, and uh, I don't know why I would think that with only 400 gems. But finally, I've, I've been staring right at it. We do have the stones to spend. And yes, I have gotten a lot of flack for not investing more in my spotlight, but from everything I read... Why is my angle... Oh, 41 degrees. It was 39 degrees before. And for my modules, if you look at... Not you. You. Three, for three degrees of spotlight. So when we come back here, we need to get this to 43. So that's going to be 42. That's going to be 43. And now with 43 degrees of spotlight, which is only that way because of the bonus, we can now start working on the... Because of the module, I want to be clear, not because of the bonus, but because of the module. We can now start working on the bonus. And there we go. We've got the bonus up to 10 uh, times 8. Obviously, once I get spotlight, so from what I was told, the way to build spotlight was to get the quantity, you know, you get the angle to 31, the quantity to 2, the angle to 35, the quantity to 3, the angle to 40. Then you work on the bonus, and you get the bonus to 20. Once I get the bonus to 20, I'll probably come back to Chain Lightning and we'll finish working on Chain Lightning. And the reason is, again, because of Armored. Armored is not a fun affix for me. You all know that. And uh, then I don't know what we're going to do. Because once I finish up Chain Lightning here, and once I get Spotlight's bonus up to about 20, I think it's around 20x, um, I'm really not sure what comes next. Do I save up, grab an ultimate weapon, and basically grab Chrono Field? And then we're going to spend a lot of time leveling up Chrono Field. I feel like that's the next thing I need to do. Chrono Field will help me with chip damage. And then that will leave uh, Poison Swamp and um, Smart Missiles as the last two ultimate weapons I don't have. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know if there's something else I should have, you know, I don't know if we should be working on, I, I would, I would wonder increasing the black hole size to 44 meters, increasing maybe black hole duration a little bit, I don't know if that should be on the table, um, increasing inner landmines, I don't think increasing the quantity of inner landmines or the cooldown should be on the table, but I'm not sure, um, the damage, is that even on the table? I don't know. I feel like, you know, before maybe we save up for this, maybe some of these lower ones, and I like maybe inner landmines, I don't really know. These lower cost ones should be upgraded, but it's hard for me to say. Obviously, the other thing I can do is work on keeping Death Wave, Golden Tower, and um, Black Hole synced until I think they go down to 100 seconds, which is... I think I have three levels left to go on each of these. That's another possibility. Um, it's hard to say. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I know, I know. Golden Tower goes down to 100 seconds because Black Hole actually goes down to 50 seconds. But then the question I have is, if I get the one that reduces my ultimate weapon cooldown by you know x number of seconds, and let's say. I get a package, and it's a drop for 10 seconds. And my black hole, let's say, it lasts for, um, sorry, sorry, excuse me. Let's say that I get the drop, and it's minus 10 seconds. My black hole has 5 seconds left on the cooldown. Now, does that 10 seconds wrap around? So let's say my black hole, that cool, for this argument, my black hole cooldown is 50 seconds, and my golden tower is 100. And so that means my black hole's at 5 seconds, and my golden tower cooldown is at 55 seconds. If I get minus 10 seconds, does that set my golden tower to 45 seconds and my black hole to 45 seconds? Or do I lose that 5 seconds off black hole, forcing golden tower and black hole to desync? 
If Golden Tower and Black Hole would desync in that scenario, then I would never want to take Black Hole lower than a uh, 100-second cooldown, because then it doesn't matter, they never desync. Now, there is an issue if it... If it uh, I know there's an issue where you can get a Black Hole now that lasts like 46 seconds, and you can get the cooldown to 47 seconds, so you can almost have a permanent Black Hole up. That is something that's possible now. But, with, well, I guess with a permanent Black Hole, it doesn't really matter if... It, if if golden, you, you basically would lose a second. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. I guess that's the ultimate goal, right? To have a black hole that lasts for 46 seconds with a 47 second cooldown. And then basically you lose one second potentially of, of a golden. And then it doesn't matter. But anyways, that's what I was wondering here. But again, we, we, we will be working on Spotlight. Like I, let's, you know, I was going to... Oh, We'll do another draw. Maybe we'll get something. Oh, we got a diamond nano wall. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, not enough. Okay. Well, that was that was endless excitement there. But regardless, we will be working on spotlight. I don't know if we get spotlight to twenty x, then we should decide to dra draw the next ultimate weapon. Obviously, chrono field, and then that's going to unlock. You know, there was a time when I was like, oh, man, I'm just going to blitz through these researches. This is not a problem. And now it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a problem. If we do, then we have the duration and the uh, damage reduction. Obviously, you get the damage reduction first. And there's also the range. So there's three researches here that I'd be working on. Um, well, two, two, excuse me. I would do, the obviously, the damage reduction level one first to unlock the damage reduction. Then I would be working on, I think, range, because you have to max out range no matter what. Well, probably cooldown reduction. Probably if I'm being realistic, I have to do cooldown reduction first. Uh, with stones, wait, there's no, I mean duration, excuse me, duration right here. Because you're going to be doing duration uh, with stones and cool, and cooldown reduction also with stones and researching duration, and blah, 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 blah. So we'd have to, like... Basically, perm duration, and then eventually come down here and get range. But, uh, yeah, it's another one. And then, obviously, the only time I would choose Smart Missile is once I have completed my month-long, probably longer, work on, uh, probably, I think it's like three months of Chrono Field, is, I think is what we're looking at, if I remember correctly. And that's something that's effectively on the table, is what I would say at this point. Let's see, let's see Chronofield, Chronofield. Because I think I looked at this before, it is a, it's very expensive. It's, so it's going to take almost 2,000 stones to get it. Just to get the cooldown down is another 1,500 stones, so we're looking at 3,000 stones right there. Then there is the slow percent, which is another 910 stones. So now we're looking at 4,000 stones. Um, and then the duration, depending on how much duration I get, that can be upwards of 5,000 stones. Okay? So 5,000 plus, well, 5,500 plus 9, uh, 900 is 6,400 plus this is roughly 8,000 stones. I get 200 stones a week. This building chrono field becomes a 40-week uh, project. Assuming I do everything with stones. Now, there is 30 levels of research, and there is 40 levels of leveling it with stones, so there's a little give and take there on how you do that, and you only need 60 seconds down, not 61 seconds. So I could potentially go as low as 30 seconds worth of uh, stones, which cuts the investment in half, but I think realistically we'd be looking at 40 seconds in stones, for the full investment of about, yep, 10,000 stones to create Chrono Field. So once we start saving for Chrono Field, unlocking Chrono Field, leveling Chrono Field, we are officially embarking on a year-long project of working only on Chrono Field. One year of stones, for me, unless, unless, unless my stone luck dramatically uh, changes. One year of stones for me to work on Chronofield. So quite the 
quite the prospect. And, uh, I mean, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, while we are working on Chronofield, like between Chronofield and my modules and some of the other things, maybe some researches, maybe I'll be able to start making stones in um, Champion League. I'm kind of a... Uh, you know, I mean, realistically... If I can get to, you know, I, I need consistent rank 9 or better finishes to basically compete in Champion League. Because right now, I've been getting, I've been fairly consistently getting first place of so 400 gems and 175 stones. And then here, this has been, um, this, yeah. Yeah, I've been also getting rank 11 here. No, I've been getting this. So, so 475 gems. And 195 stones. With rank 9, I would actually be... Do, I mean, it's... It, it, you know, I know I've said this before. I feel like it's insane. That the only way for me to make progress versus sandbagging is to actually hit rank 9 or 10. Basically, there's 11 and lower ranks where you're... in. Well, you know, unless you're getting like 2nd or 3rd or 4th place. You really don't want to get 5th or 6th place. You really don't even want to get 3rd or 4th place, I would say. You're really aiming for 1st or 2nd. But unless you can do that... And again, let's say let's just say 2nd place is the baseline. At least 2nd place, that expands it to 11 to 12. Okay, that's, that's, that's better, right? But unless you're consistently getting 12th or higher. Like, is, thir is 13, that's 110, is that even... That's barely... This, no, no. E even if you're getting double 13, you're better off sandbagging and getting, uh, I, and I know I've talked about this, but it, it's just, yeah, 100 stones. You're better off sandbagging, getting 6th place in sandbagging for the 120 stones versus versus trying to compete with uh, 13th place. That's just, so, so more than half of the bracket, more than half of the bracket, you're better off sand, that's, and I, I'm sure we've had this discussion before. And I, and I know FUDs will say, but the stones economy. Well, you know, I mean, yes, but no. Like, I really feel like, and I've said this before, rank 22, rank 22 finishes should be better than a rank 5 or 6 finish. I'm sorry. This should be at least 50 stones. Because at least you're trying. 100 gems and 50 stones. It, no, wait. It needs to be more than that because that's 120. So this needs to be 60 stones. So you're losing 25 stones by actually trying. It's, I mean, I get it. I, 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 I see FUD's perspective. But I also look at this and I'm like, huh. Like the, the penalty is just to me too much. But we'll see. So the benchmark for me is nine or better, which means two thirds of the bracket is you know if I get eleven or lower, two thirds of the bracket not even worth trying. So obviously we'll just see what happens. I'm not planning on trying Champion League anytime soon unless somebody suggests otherwise. Um, I do at least have a legendary module now with my plus two point five attack speed, which is. Nice, and obviously we'll be working on this and this. Well, we'll be working on all of this. It's just a question of, will I get the ohm chip, you know? But uh, we'll see. You know, if I get that ohm chip down to zero bosses, that'll be nice. But uh, that's a long ways away. But anyways, uh, I probably rambled a bit longer on this video, so let's just call it here. So that said, once again, as always... Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.